And so I join tonight with the citizens of DeSoto asking you, Councilwoman Corals, to please raise your right hand. Please. Family, you've been summoned. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Your name? Candace Quarles. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will faithfully execute the duties of. That I will faithfully execute the duties of. Council member place six. Council member place six. In the city of DeSoto. In the city of DeSoto. And the state of Texas. And the state of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Text, and defend and defend the constitution and laws the constitution and laws of the united states of the united states and of this state and of this state so help me god so help me god congratulations good evening so i'm desoto city councilwoman place six candace corals and i want to thank you uh, for giving me the opportunity to serve uh, for my first full term on the city council. First, I want to thank the voters um, for entrusting in me the opportunity to serve this community um, in, in the role of a council member. I want to thank my loving husband, Jeremiah, and my baby girl, Avery. Uh, you spend, we spend a lot of time in this chamber, in this building, uh, away from family, and understand the sacrifices that families that don't sign up for politics in general, they still get... Uh, they still get a taste of that. So thank you guys for always being so supportive. And I also want to thank um, uh, my mom and my dad and my two sisters. I also want to thank my sorority sisters. Um, and I also thank my colleagues on the city council. Um, you have made this experience over the past few years a wonderful learning experience. And just know that I cherish each of you, and I really respect each and every single person on this council. Um, we spent a lot of time together, guys, and just know that the professionalism that you see during the council meeting um, is, is always in every meeting, in every event that we're doing. We are, you know, looking out for each other and the way that they all care about the city. Just know that you guys have uh, really chosen really good people to serve on the council. So I'm honored to serve with each of you, and I sincerely mean that. I also want to thank my illustrious mayor. Um, to have the first female mayor, uh, you want to make sure that, you know, that uh, you are being supportive and understand that it's a, a big weight when women are in leadership. It's a lot of sacrifices that are made. Um, there's an extra magnifying glass. Understand that she has just really carried that torch well, uh, kept it going seamlessly, and I'm so glad to serve under her leadership on the city council. And I also want to thank um, every, every opportunity that I've been given on the city council as the liaison uh, for the historical foundation and specifically working with people like Ms. Berry on the Domestic Violence Advisory Commission. Um, when you have people like her who are so passionate about eradicating domestic violence in your community, um, it, it transcends and it, it shows in all of the work that she does. And also I want to thank, um, thank you for opportunities like um, the DeSoto Works Job Fair. When you talk about collaboration in the city, when the commissioner talks about how things work in cities and how it's working, that's because that's in partnership with chambers, the churches, the city, economic development. That's the way it works. And I'm so glad to be in a city where we can um, have collaboration with that. And I also want to uh, just understand, just commit to you that um, hold us accountable. This government is supposed to work for you. It's supposed to do things for you. If we're not doing it, you need to call us on it. I encourage you to check us on that. We have people that come to city council meetings and, you know, they have issues and, and things that we want to address. Understand I truly mean that. So outside of this time that we're all gathered, please contact me. Uh, tell me the things you're looking for in your community. Understand that. Uh, the things that have always been done the way that's been done is not the way that it has to be. So 
when you have someone that's on the council where I truly believe that we were all elected because we wanted to make a difference, right? We wanted to improve our city in some way. So uh, bring your changes, bring your ideas, know that I'm open to listening to them and know that um, I, I really, really want to make our city the best place to live, work, and play. So I look forward to, uh, as you guys know, I'm super passionate about getting more people involved in local government. Um, I want to increase voter turnout. We have a midterm election coming up this year. We have presidential elections going on. Um, me being in the seat that I am at city council, I believe that affects at all levels. And understand going forward, you'll see more of that from me. You'll see me encouraging more people to come to these meetings. You'll see me encouraging more young folks to get involved and do more than a 2% turnout. So you'll see me getting more uh, encouraging you, and you'll see uh, now that I have two years on the council, and I kind of seen it, you never know everything, uh, I'm uh, just much more comfortable with, okay, this is my city too, right? So I get a chance to make those changes, and we can do those things together. So I'm asking you, um, thank you for your continued support. Um, call me out. If you say, hey, Ken, she said you're going to make changes, make sure I'm doing those things. Come to this meeting. Let me know what you'd like to see and trust and understand that I'm doing the very best that I can, and I can only do that with your help. Thank you, guys. I'm all the way.